Two firefighters were hurt and six people now have nowhere to live after a multifamily home caught fire in Manchester Friday night. It happened around 1045 on Liberty Street in a building News 9 confirmed is owned by Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig. Firefighters say everyone was able to make it out safely and they're now being helped by the Red Cross. Crews responding to the scene were met with frigid conditions. One firefighter suffered frostbite and another fell on an icy road. The cold weather also presented challenges for fire crews in Keene. Nine people were displaced when a multifamily home went up in flames on Elm Street Saturday morning. And we saw basically what you would see at such uh, fires under such cold conditions, frozen hydrants, frozen hand lines, uh, and some minor issues with the, with the trucks. In addition to the slippery roads, the chief says firefighters were met with several frozen hydrants, so they had to use one from the next street over. He says public works came over to salt the ground and the water department helped steam some of the hydrants and that crews try to prepare for these conditions the best they can ahead of time. We always flow water through our hand lines even if we're not actively using them so things don't freeze up. And then, you know, we keep an eye towards safety, understanding what happens on the fire ground. And fire officials say the cause of the Manchester fire was the careless disposal of smoking materials and the cause of the fire in Keene is still under investigation. In Manchester, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.